Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown. I'm back in my cider office with some more Perry to try. And it's another one from Ross and Wire. I've got quite a few from Ross and Wire. So forgive me. Well, don't forgive me. Why don't you give me? It's great. Got lots of Ross and Wire to try. This time it's a Perry. Slightly unusual Perry as well, actually. It's certainly not one I've had before. Uh, I'm not sure there's one that anybody could argue that had before, actually. Because what it's called is Speckled Russet. Uh, unknown pear perry. How's that? How's that? Cool, huh? 6.7%. Um, pressed October 2022. Bottled August 2023. Batch F9. It says on here, sparkle, uh, what about speckled russet is a name we gave to this unidentified pear. The fruit was handpicked by Mike and Dawn Manning for us on a farm a little over 10 miles away. The name has been lost. And the pears looked unlike anything we have ever seen before or found documented. However, it is delicious and satisfying to drink with texture, tannins, a hint of pepper and a touch of juicy sweetness. Cool. How about that? How about that? I do like that. We don't know what it is. We'll just call it something and it tastes delicious. Let's just drink it anyway. Cool. The fact that pick it, press it, taste it, go, actually, that's quite good. It's pretty cool. You know, because why would they bother? You know. Why would they bother when they don't have to? They've got lots of other things to do, but they did bother. And so we have this fab drink to drink. Let's, well, we assume it's fab. It was a slight hiss when I opened it. Not much of a smoking gun at all to speak of. Very low carbonation, it seems. But I've always said I like low carbonation more than high carbonation. I'd rather just have a little prickle rather than just like too much, you know, like drinking Coca-Cola, which just hurts your tongue and actually just um, and masks flavour. You don't want that. So, as you can see from that, it's a greenish hue to it. Here's the odds, because it's uh, unfiltered. Very light sparkle on that. It is sparkling though, I can hear it, but really subtle. But actually, I can smell this already, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick my, but there's the color, play pardon me, color, there it is properly. There you go, look at that. So, yellowish, sort of greeny hue to it, almost like it. it's, it's very faintly gold, but with a hint of sort of lime about it, I would say. Let's smell it. Hint of funk, just a hint. Yeah, actually, no, it's, it's kind of funky, like a rubbery kind of funk. It's not bad at all. It's like a rubbery kind of funkiness to it. And then there's like a, like a sweet pear dessert tart kind of thing underneath that it smells good. It smells nice i like the smell it's great it's interesting it's intriguing yeah it's like there's it maybe maybe it's like sort of um oh, what's the word? sulfurous sort of smell but please do not let that put you off because actually i think it smells really interesting and actually that's dissipating and the pear thing's coming more to the fore as it sits and it's open and I'll probably evolve as it, you know, long after this video's sort of completed as well. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try it. Much more pear character on the palate than there was on the nose. Qu quite nice fruit, actually mouth watering, kind of fat, ripe fruit. I want to say, um, low acid, minerality, hint of tannin, that sort of skin-like character, like I associate with russet. I'm getting that on my mouth, but it's more like a, a russety skin thing than like a tannic thing. If that makes any sense to anybody other than me, it makes sense to me. Um, mm. and those really delicate bubbles are really delicate but man I love that I love that just the mere sort of prickle on your tongue it's so much better than having really really fizzy stuff I think you know I don't mind fizzy stuff but if it's going to be fizzy I'd rather it's under rather than over this is under it just lifts it just makes it that much more interesting yeah, I can see why this unknown Perry pear 
<laughs> has been pressed and made into a perry by Albert and Mike. Because actually, it's, it's rich. There's a richness to it. And what I'm left with is like big, like pear, like a pear tart kind of character in my mouth. I really am. Um, that hint of tannin, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, minerality down the middle of my palate. It's good. It is good. How interesting is that? How interesting is that? How interesting is that? I'll tell you how interesting. Very interesting. That's how interesting it is. Yeah, we like. We like the speckled russet. We like it. And it's a good job because I got a case which is on the website. And you can order some if you want to try it for yourself. So speckled russet, russet unknown pear, perry from Ross and Y. We like, we like. So thank you for joining me in my office. I hope you join me again. At some point in the future, we'll be back in the shed, I guarantee, which is, I can see it from here, it's down there. We're gonna be back in there at some point once I've made some space and organized things a bit better. But until that time, thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. Cheers. <laughs>